I'm Bruce Shaney and today on Homemade Science I'd like to take a look at simple solar motors. Now this particular one is about as close as we can get to a direct conversion of solar radiant energy into motion energy. So let's take a closer look. Let's start with the rotor itself without all of the solar strips on it. It's two cups that are mounted end to end. Uh, the strips are fairly flexible when they are on it and through the cups there is an axle that uh, is supported on the wooden base. Now let's try this rotor that's ready to go. I'll put it on the supports and the first time I have to give it a little push to get it started. But once this motor's been running for a few moments, I can stop it and it will restart itself. It can actually go in either direction. As long as it's getting sunlight near the top of the rotor, this motor will actually spin in either direction. And on a nice bright sunny day, this rotor will spin about 60 RPMs, or one turn per second. After experimenting with the smaller ones, I wanted to see if I could make them larger. This next one is made with two half gallon food containers. I found that larger ones work just as nicely as the smaller ones, only they're a little bit slower. All right, now it's time to go a little bit larger. Let me get my base here in the right spot. That looks good. Uh, this rotor actually is made from two five gallon buckets. Uh, it has 16 solar strips on it, which are each about three inches wide. Now I'll get this on the support and give it a push and off it goes. Now if I take a piece of cardboard and I cover the rotors, it'll take about 30 seconds for them to come to a complete stop. And if I pull the cardboard away, we'll see that they will start up again. I'll move the camera so we can see them from the side for a moment. Now obviously these motors are outside using direct sunlight. I can also move them inside, put them on my windowsill and they'll operate just as nicely inside if we have direct sunlight coming in through the window. And if there's no sunlight, well then I can use two 60 watt bulbs and it operates very nicely under those also. So these are my solar motors. If you like them, let me know and I hope you'll check out the other homemade science videos that I have. Okay, bye.